Hi friends, I'm Jeffy G back in the studio. I'm revisiting Amplify Studio from Amplify, which is a company owned by Novation. This product came out about three years ago at NAM 2020, and I guess I was questioning, is it still relevant? Does it have a purpose in music production? In particular, I found that it's fun to play with. It's a great way to use your launch pad, but it has some limitations. So ultimately I need to move data from Amplify Studio into Logic. And in this video, I'll show you how to do that. If you've been following this channel for a while, you know that I suffer from poem syndrome, which affects my hands and neuropathy in my legs. As a result, I went through a period where I could not play guitar and I could not play keyboards, but I could use a launch pad. It gave me the creative tools I was looking for. When I first got back into creating music, I still had neuropathy in my hands. So playing keyboards or playing guitar was nearly impossible. And that drew me to buying a launch pad, thinking that a pad device might be easier for me to use. And one of the programs that came from Novation is this Amplify Studio product. And it is both on the iPad and on my Mac. And the Mac version is called Amplify Studio. And the tools for the iPad are things like Launchpad and Bloxwave. It is a, a sample tool. You can load samples into it or you can buy samples from their sample packs. You can see the color coding on the launch pad works nicely. So you can pick drums, hi hats. And then if you want to hear the whole uh, song in its section order, you can just press play. So the best way to go from Amplify Studio into Logic is kind of a two-step process. First, bring up your uh, project as it exists in Amplify Studio, and then go to File, Export, and Export to Ableton Live. And by doing that, you're gonna give it a directory. I gave this a directory already called Mod Jazz in my temp folder. You're gonna get um, basically an Ableton project folder, but what you're interested in is just the samples. You'll see here they all are. The naming of the samples is a little bit cryptic. You see it, it has a name like I had a one zero zero two three four and that relates to where they sit in this grid one two three four if I take a look at everything in section one is called casual 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 they're all called casual and if I go look at my files oh yeah look there's a bunch of things called casual so if I drag those samples into logic it'll ask me if I want to create new tracks I'll say yes and there I go. There's basically all the samples. And 
you'll notice some of these aren't looping. You'd have to play around with this a little bit, kind of one option, but those that gives you your the basic samples. Another option is to use the live loops grid in Logic. So here you've got cells that look very much similar to what you were looking at. I can individually bring those samples into those cells. This to be there, and I want this to be there. <laughs> And uh, you can do this individually, right? E each sample then. As a shortcut, you could uh, take a bunch all at once. Say, okay, you know, give me all these galvanic, bring them all in at once, and it will load them all in, assuming that's the way you want to see them in the, in the live loops setting. So there's a couple different ways, but an important step is to export it as a Ableton Live only because by doing so, it puts all the samples into this sample folder in your export. There's no other method of getting all the samples in one place. So there's some nice integration between the Novation Launchpad, and this is a Launchpad X, and this software, but it isn't all that powerful. You can do some modifications to the samples down here, like controlling the volume and the octaves and the speeds and stuff like that, and the way it's triggered, whether it's looping all at once, or, but it's it's still a fairly limited tool. You could use this to create your own songs. So here's a song where I've created multiple sections. You can see all the sections here. If I play this first section, playing that section multiple times because that's one of the features of how many times you want it to loop. It goes on to the next section. So if you were maybe using this for a verse, section two could be a verse. Here's section three, just kind of a breakdown part. A lot of these sections I have been playing twice. You can see as it plays through, the lights on the iPad are lighting up to re reflect which samples are being played. Okay, so you can create a basic song, but it's all pre-recorded samples that are being played. Something pretty simple, just that piano part. And then in this next section, let's see. could um, click on record here. So if I click on record, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three, I'm getting my own sample. Testing one, two, three, I'm getting my own sample. And that would be the only way you could really get vocals in there is to just, you know, record each phrase as a sample and then link those samples together. So as a song composition tool, eh, it's not that great but it's fun to play around with. What I like is that they deliver sounds about every week and you can sort of go through, okay, what's the latest sound pack? So here's one called Modular Jazz. It's generally the samples are at 118 beats per minute in the key of G minor, but you can change the key if you want a different key. There's a metronome you can turn off and on. Basic controls that you're familiar with in any DAW. And then you can preview these sounds either with the launch pad and that'll just give you an idea of what's in the pack or you could just play the whole pack by clicking on play it 
in any given pack, you've got a bunch of drum samples, which you can preview individually here. And you've got bass. And then you've got melodic samples, which could be a guitar or a keyboard of some kind. Like here, you've got floating piano. And the melodic bits are pretty good. There's some percussion pieces. You can preview and decide what you want. And sometimes they have this vocal thing. So let's see what this one sounds like. So that one's vocal-like. It's not really a vocal. And you always have a bunch of effects, which are pretty good, actually. I, I have a lot of fun listening to the effects. I have found the effects to be really pretty interesting, and I've used these sample effects outside of this tool in a lot of projects that I do in Logic. So that's just one sample pack, and you're getting new packs every week. I think there's more than 500 packs available with a subscription. So if you click on packs here, there's a way to sort through the packs by genre. You'll see there's just all kinds to choose from. Don't save this one. I got a blank here. I'm basically just going to take a bass part and throw it in here. And now I can play that bass part as part of my song. Then I could search for drums to go with it. And it doesn't have to be from this sample pack. It could be from any sample pack. So just bass and drums. Really good, easy way to start a, an idea for a song. You'll see it, it's downloading these off the internet. It does it very efficiently, which is awesome if you're using uh, a mobile device like an iPad. I always find it best to just start with a few samples, like a drum beat and maybe a bass part, and then add some melodic bits in. Now you could use this just as the start for a song. There isn't direct integration from the Amplify Studio into other DAWs, but there's a way to get there. And I was looking for a way to just export the entire sample library, but they won't let you do that. You basically have to do it one song at a time. Initially, when I got this, uh, Amplify provided me the subscription for free for one year. And then after one year, I think it's $9.99 or $10 a month, you know, pay as you go basis. And there's been times where I thought, you know, do I really need this, especially with all the other sample things that are out there. And I would say that the quality of these samples and the fact that they're curated together into these packs, can be helpful in terms of, you know, the mood you're in and coming up with songs. And they're organized sort of into genres and vibes, things that you might be looking for. So if you're trying to do an orchestral thing, maybe you pick up this one, open the template, and you listen to some of these samples to see, is this what I'm looking for? I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, Consider clicking on the like button, maybe subscribe to the channel, click on the notification bell and you'll find out when I release new videos. I appreciate your support. Thanks for watching.